Morning breaking news. Other ones here involving an overnight fire in Sadamsville. We're learning now that several pets did not make it out of this fire. Alexis Rogers following this for us and the latest that the fire officials have as well on this investigation, Alexis. Hey, good morning to you, Colin. We actually just got done talking to the landlord and the tenant who lost a lot of things in her apartment. She was in the second floor rear apartment of this building. There's three apartments overall, and so she was pretty distraught, didn't necessarily want to go on camera, which we understand that as well. Uh, but she says that there are actually three cats that survived, but there were around, again, six to seven cats that did pass away in this fire. Now, all of the smoke detectors were working which was why the fire officials were able to come out here pretty quickly around two o'clock this morning. When they first came, they saw a lot of smoke coming from the second and third floor. They were able to get out the tenant that was on the first floor. When I talked to the landlord, they said that the other tenant was either going to or uh, headed back from work. So that tenant was uh, not there at that time, but fire crews are still investigating what might have started this. The landlord tells us that he's trying to check out the heater. They've never really had issues with it before. He is going to come back to try to help her get a lot of her stuff out because she did lose a lot of her stuff um, alongside with her animals. So at this point of time, they still don't know exactly what started the fire, but now they're just focused on picking up the pieces. Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.